Hi, hi. Hello. Welcome. Hello, Good hello, everyone. everyone. Hi. Welcome, everyone. Let's just do a check if everything is good to go. I see all of us on screen. That's great. Um, hello, hello. I just have a on YouTube. I think everything is open. Twitter is live as well. All good. Okay, awesome. great. Amazing. Um, welcome everyone to our community call. It's been some time since we were on one of those and we've been missing you. So I uh, hope we get to talk a lot. Uh, just a general um, housekeeping on how we manage this. Please remember that in our community, we're trying to stay kind, stay respectful. So uh, let's try to cultivate that everywhere. Uh, if you have any question, please post it on our chat and at the end on our Q&A, we'll address it. Uh, so we'll just go through all of the questions. I'll keep a note and at the end, we'll do a Q&A. Um, the agenda for today, uh, we're excited to share with you more about our expansion to base with our Snapshot or Light Node minting. Uh, we'll invite Sarup, we'll invite Priti to comment on this. Um, we'll take some time to introduce you to our new team members that are here today and that we're so glad that are, are, are on our team. Um, so we'll do that. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the success of or where we're at with our snapshot of light node, the numbers, uh, the running nodes, uh, the data snapshotted. After that, we'll talk about the data lounge, where we've been, where we're going, our podcast series, and then we're going to mention uh, something about the scaling Ethereum, which is starting today. And we're going to give you a quick hint of something we're prepping up and we're launching on Monday, uh, which we're very excited about as well. And then at the end, we'll run the Q&As. So if you have any questions, please just go to the um comments and the chat here and leave them for us and we'll address them um so let's start uh now that we're all here uh we can start with the introduction of our new team members let me see who else is here i know alex is here alex activate your camera so we can see you too uh we'll start with our dear kanika who is here if you could just uh, give a brief introduction say hi to everyone that would be amazing Hi, uh, I'm Kanika. I'm handling product um, in Bowerloom, and it's been uh, like two weeks, I guess. Uh, and it's been it's my first launch, so it's fun, <laughs> loving, loving, exciting. Excited to be here. Thank, thank you so much. We're so excited you're with us. And like Kanika said, she is handling product, so. Uh, we're going to be seeing a lot of her in our new developments. Um, I know Alex is also here. We can't see your camera, Alex. So when you're ready, please come up and we'll also greet you. Um, but we can move on. Um, I just want to say hello to who's here in stage with me, to Swaroop, to Pratik, to SDR. You can say just a brief hello so everyone can see you. Hello, everybody. Hello. Super, super great to be here with y'all. <laughs> Yeah, always excited to do on. these community calls and uh, be in touch with the community. For a change, I'm not kicking it off, so I'm I'm just chilling. <laughs> no, I'm just monitoring everything on the side, just making sure everything is good to go. But otherwise, awesome to be here. I know it's been a while. Um, we do have some updates. We actually have something going on live at this exact moment, so that's why the teams a little. Uh, some of the team members are trying to take care of that, um, uh, and. Uh, Mikhail, I will. I will let you sort of explain things. Through, I don't want to break your agenda items. So, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so basically, how we're gonna do this is uh, we're gonna start with what everyone is most excited about and want to hear, which is our expansion to base. And I'll let uh, either user critique or also SDR to comment about it because everyone is excited. And if you have any question, remember that we'll address it at the end. So please, your stage. I'll take it. I'll take it first. And then I guess, uh, Swarup, you can talk a little bit more about the technicalities, but something that is extremely exciting for us, especially over the course of the entirety of, of its, its, of our existence as power loom in our protocol, you know, 
three and a half years in the making. Finally, eight weeks ago, we went live with the Node Mint. Uh, it started off on Polygon POS. And part of what's really important for everybody to understand is the general narrative of what Powerloom really is. It's a composable data network. What does that mean? That means that we're meant to be able to work in tandem and collaborate with all chains, any blockchain, so long as it's on chain. And today, or rather yesterday, was a big monumental moment for us because we then expanded our very network to the base ecosystem. And what does that mean? Well, for those of you guys that have been seeing what's been happening with Base over the last couple of months, um, you know, Base isn't new. They've been developing this project um, in this L2 for a minute uh, in collaboration with Optimism. And there's a lot more technicalities that come into this that make it very exciting for us as well as a protocol. But what's really fantastic is that Base's overarching thesis is to bring the next billion people on chain. And for us, we're very developer focused. We're very much so wanting to have smart, brilliant individuals utilizing Powerloom's network to bring data rich applications to the forefront. And so for us to expand into base and really be honing in on this next wave of consumers coming in and of course, next wave of builders, building for these next consumers we are very very excited to expand our node mints and enable participation from all of you guys that have been excited about what's going on in base so Arup can talk a little bit more in, in detail about what it actually means for our ecosystem and the developers that are interested in this and and for that i really would love to just say thank you to everybody that's been participating thus far everyone that's been minting we've been is we've been it's been really great to see recently these last couple of days the influx of new mints and new new people coming into our ecosystem so thank you also very much for your your attention to us and giving us the opportunity to continue to grow yeah i think uh for us this was like a big um a little bit of work to sort of get to um uh, base uh, obviously we kicked off things with polygon uh, just just less than two months ago um, and since then we've been thinking about how do we sort of include uh, more of community members and um, so we had this idea uh, and we had been thinking about even before we actually went live with mint and the first uh, thing that we had in mind was if we could make it cross chain uh, which is not an easy task um, especially due to the tiers involved. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of where uh, this was like a little bit of uh, a challenge for us. So we came up with this, uh, thanks to it, things being on chain. So we just sort of silently restricted uh, the total uh, sort of supply on Polygon. So we've kept everything the same, right? The uh, NFT IDs, everything are sequential. So there's no difference. Like if you're a base minter or a Polygon minter, I wanted to, I know we are gonna do a QA and a at the end, uh, but the the, the idea was to sort of just continue it on base. Uh, obviously, that does mean that we did have to pause it on Polygon, uh, but that doesn't mean uh, you know all those Polygon holders are uh, and they're all active node runners. As a matter of fact, the number will always be higher because it's um, just five thousand two hundred fifty node mints on Polygon compared to um, four thousand seven hundred fifty who can now mint on base. Right, so the total remains the same. Um, the interesting thing about now working with the base community, we are able to actually work on more things. Uh, I'll let sort of Pratik sort of go into uh, the marketing efforts that we have done. Recently, we did an announcement yesterday. We did also on the day of the announcements, those who are actually active on Farcaster. Um, but, and that's kind of where we want to expand this. Uh, but at the same time, uh, this is not uh, stopping something and trying something new. It's just expansion. That's why we use that term expansion because it's just adding more and more. Uh, I wish we could add more chains uh, for the mint uh, but remember powerloom as a, a protocol already supports multiple chains out of the box so those who have actually gone into the nitty-gritty of the protocol if you've sort of spent time with the docs we already support it and our goal is to actually now also start to add more data markets so we are sort of working on a few things so uh we'll probably announce it um uh, now that kanika is handling the product so you'll see more of the information going out so take a look at our uh, GitHub issues and things like that. So you'll see a little more cleanups already happened and we will uh, give the community a better outline of when we start to work on things and give you guys a little bit of a heads up as well. But yeah, super excited to uh, expand this space. And I think uh, it's um, there's a few more things that we've been working on 
Uh, and I think that we'll be announcing uh, next week as well. So this is just a start of what I call as uh, base season. Over to you, Pratik. All right. Uh, I mean, yeah, this is all like very exciting uh, base season uh, and things. Uh, like, and one of the reasons, uh, like we we kind of honed on like going into the base ecosystem was basically how things are, uh, like really getting hot uh, in in base. Uh, like, uh, they they started with the on chain summer uh, like a couple of years ago, and then that that kind of uh, helped a lot of people. Uh, come in the ecosystem, and that's that's what we are here for. I mean, uh, essentially, we are looking for mainstream adoption. Um, we we want to make uh, data uh, more decentralized, more open, more accessible, so that everyone can get access to it and and uh, make sense of it. So uh, and then and we felt that this uh, does that, uh, and then gives that platform an opportunity for people to kind of be a part of it. So uh, yeah, I mean. There's there's a lot of excitement and and uh, which is which is why we have like a flurry uh, of announcements uh, that we have in, lined up uh, just yesterday. Uh, I don't know if, like if you if you were a part of the Twitter Spaces session, we went uh, live with a big partnership, uh, one of some, uh, one of the biggest uh, uh, identity providers in the base ecosystem. Uh, those who kind of uh, they provide a service. Uh, to give out uh, dot base names uh, to users who have base wallet addresses, uh, and we partnered with them. Uh, and and this is one of the biggest uh, developments. We uh, have been talking to the base name service team for the last couple of months, uh, and just uh, yesterday it got all kind of uh, uh, conceptualized and and and. Uh, materialized uh, and now we are looking into getting into more and more of those partners in the base ecosystem so that we can support uh, these partners and make sure uh, that we we make a lot of noise and that's that's uh, what, what we have on the marketing side uh, all lined up um, I mean we have some exciting things I mean we did uh, launch a frame on uh, Farcaster uh, because uh, Farcaster uh, uses base as as the native chain along with like the op stack uh, which is obviously underneath uh, but what we also felt is uh, farcaster makes sense because there's there's a lot of activity happening within the farcaster ecosystem uh, we did one frame uh, from the powerloom handle uh, the, uh, there's there was a little mint that i did on my personal side uh, which also got like great response and people uh, are starting to learn more about what these nodes are, how these nodes operate, and how these nodes, uh, like how they can be a part of something like this or running the nodes uh, in the base ecosystem. Because this was the first time ever uh, there was any node mint that happened uh, within base. So, uh, and and we're, we're proud uh, in, in that sense where we were able to achieve that, uh, and and also now expand into. Uh, other base uh, pro like base uh, base based projects uh, so that we can we can make it more uh, accessible to a lot of uh, those users so yeah exciting things and exciting things lined up for the next uh, few days few weeks uh, from now and maybe Pratik, also something to note for all those individuals that have already um, participated thus far and have minted on polygon pos um, you know part of what's really important is are rewarding or making sure that we're taking care of our community, those that have already been participating, those that have been here with us from day one. So Swaroop, what is the goodies for the Polygon node SBT holders? What 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 are what are we getting for those people that have participated from with us last couple of weeks? Yeah, absolutely. I think we uh so I didn't want to like kick it off with that, but yeah, we wanted to reward our existing uh, node holders and we wanted them to, is my t-shirt getting a little bit of an effect on the side? Okay, I guess it's treating it as a green screen. <laughs> That's super cool. Um, I don't have anything on my hoodie. It's just a, uh, it's just a final logo. But um, yeah, so for existing holders, we wanted them to be able to mint as well on base. And, you know, we, we realized they would be like, what's the advantage for me, right? Uh, especially we also crossed a tier when we shifted, right? So we ended at tier three and the tier four is like the 
the the cost of minting has sort of gone up. Uh, it's currently at uh, 0.2. Uh, so we wanted to come up with a way to incentivize. And all, so there's a double incentive. So the first incentive is that you get a 20% discount and it's automatically applied. Uh, you don't have to put a code. I mean, you can put the Polygon code, uh, but it will definitely check whether you're an existing holder. So if you're an existing holder, it'll let you do a special mint. Uh, you'll notice that on chain as well. It's a little different from the public mint and it's only done for the po uh, Polygon holders and it's 20% off. So that's actually already way lower than the previous tier. So we wanted to thank you uh, folks who have stuck around with us. Uh, oh, I will talk about the node operators as well. I mean, a lot of feedback has been coming in and I'll give some updates on what's going on there. Uh, and the second thing is that if you've been running the node for a while, we wanted to give these retroactive rewards. So we haven't fleshed it out completely yet on the dashboard side of things. So we will sort of display that. But if you mint on base, and if you've already been running an active node with us, so we're gonna give you bonus rewards if you mint on base. So if considering your base nodes, uh, so the node that you minted through base would have kicked it off now. And most people are like, hey, the test net's kind of ending soon, or it's like halfway, what's the benefit for me? No, you will still get bonus rewards. So we've already been giving out those. So we're gonna give that as long as you had an active node before. So just holding the NFT doesn't work. You still need to have an active node and we are giving out bonus rewards based on that. So this, is, this means that if you just minted uh, and you had a Polygon node, you're basically going to be treated as that the node existed before that. So that's 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 the big benefit for existing holders. So if you remember when we set snapshot at 5k, I mean we kind of extended it to 5250 just to help everyone from Polygon. Um, and that was the idea that we had been thinking about uh, internally. So that's your first perk. You already get bonus rewards uh, for minting, and that was not uh, part of our original thing. And of course, you also get the 20% uh, base discount. And I, I was just reiterating, first one, first perk. <laughs> first perk. Thank you. Or one and a half perks. Uh, there's, there's additional perks coming in from our partner projects. So uh, like, I mean, the one that I mentioned, base name service, they're actually uh, like, if you have a dot base, uh, uh, like yeah, ENS, I mean, or like a domain in your name, uh, as of April 2nd, uh, you get an additional discount and you can go and check on on their uh, base name uh, service uh, uh, socials to see what the discount is and and get into uh, get, get into the ecosystem. So there's so many perks, uh, there are so many discounts, so many things that are going out. Uh, and we're basically making it easy. Uh, that's that's what uh, we are here for. And uh, node running is no more difficult. Uh, I, I mean, Sarup said this is base season. But I, I would actually say this is actually node season and not base season. And and we are bringing that node season to base. That's how I would like to put it. But we are in multiple season. There'll be more seasons. We're working on our own season too. But that's for some other day, not for today. <laughs> node season, baby. That's mini, amazing. Mini alpha there. Mini alpha. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for giving us uh, that explanation. And uh, I, I think that will help our community to understand better what, what are um, the updates and then what are the perks of this update and, and all the people that's been supporting us uh, since the start. And I know there were a couple of questions regarding the BNS announcement, so we'll also address them at the end. Uh, but thank you, Pratik, for also hinting on that. Um, I noticed Lakshya had joined the call, so I'll just give 30 yes. seconds to him to introduce. Uh, yeah, yeah, can. I was going to. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Zarub. I was going to say just now that I'm going to bring in Lakshya and let him introduce himself. He's also one of our new team members. Uh, so, Lakshya, the floor is yours. Um, hey, guys, I hope you can hear me. I'm a little outside, so it might be a little windy or noisy. But uh, I've just joined Powerloom and this team looks exciting. I love what we're doing here. And uh, it's a great learning like graph for me that's coming long ahead. So I love working with the team. And definitely that's the base launch that's coming, that's, uh, that has already come today. I'm really excited for that. So thank you, for everyone, for this. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. and. Uh, 
thank you. Thank you for being part of our team. And thank you to everyone that is part of our team who is now uh, in scaling Ethereum, which we will mention in just shortly. And thank you to each one of us that are building this. We're, uh, I'm blessed to be in this team and happy to be with all of you here today. Um, just to continue on our agenda, uh, we're gonna uh, mention a little bit of the numbers of where we're at with our snapshot or light note, as we mentioned, over 2,500 have been minted. Uh, that has increased since we uh, did our launch on base. Uh, and this is part of some of our news that we launched together with that expansion that in the last 30 days, we generated over 250 million snapshots. And that's with a daily increase to approximately 10 million snapshots. So that's incredible and like super stoked that that's happening and thank you to everyone who's running a note actively because you are supporting into this um just to continue uh on the topics we're gonna cover a little bit of what uh we're working on with the data lounge and the data lounge is um a community initiative that we started and it's just filled with incredible things we're hosting data lounge irl events and our first one was in denver uh this past on february it was incredible uh we met incredible people and we actually also met there with kanika which was amazing so uh data lounge brought kanika to us which is fantastic um and we hope that we continue to host these events around the world and bring amazing people to them to like create meaningful connections and really like uh, scale the amount of uh, good relationships that we have with incredible humans. So uh, really happy that we're hosting those and we're continuing to host them to stay connected to know where we're going next. And also to mention around the data lounge, which we uh, as part of hosting, well, Sammy, as they are, is hosting our launch podcast. This is incredible. We just launched our first episode, and it's with uh, our dear Sarup. And we are already in recording of the first season of it. And we have incredible guests from different companies that you are going to be mind blown of who they are, what they tell. And we're also here from you who you'd like to see at the Data Lounge podcast. So please let us know in our community channels or if you're here now, send us a message on the chat of who you would like to see. We're inviting uh, incredible people and industry leaders that we know and that we are meeting around the world. So please let us know who you would like to see next. Uh, the first season is coming up. And also I wish, uh, Alex, if you're there, I see you. If you want to turn on your camera, we'll see you and get you introduced. Uh, there you are. I'll bring you up. All right, guys. Um, hey. Power outage. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. You're here in the right moment. I was just speaking about the Data Lounge podcast and how uh, I'll let you introduce yourself for uh, uh, briefly or as long as you want, of course. And then uh, we'll go into what you're working on for that. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, hey, everyone. Um, I'm Alex. I've been working in Web3 space for more than two and a half years now and um, start, starting in DeFi and infrastructure and then now with the, with the Parallel team, uh, mostly dedicating myself, you know, my time to, to marketing um, on the both technical and product marketing side. So really happy to, to be launching way cooler stuff ahead. Um, like and, and, and yeah, really excited for that. <laughs> Can't reveal. <laughs> you you know, you uh, I, I, I know Alex, considering he will actually be doing a lot more on this call in the future. So, like, we'll excuse everyone for the first call. <laughs> so, no worries. He wanted okay. to so bad to leak it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to mute you either. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Alex, for being here. We're so happy you're in our team and also because you're an amazing content creator. So we can't wait to see what comes from us uh, being all together. Um, let's see what's next on our agenda. Um, I'll let maybe Swarup, you want to comment on where our, the, our other teammates are on the Scaling Ethereum hackathon? 
Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so we partnered up with ETH Global earlier this year. So we had this big announcement. So every ETH Global event, uh, we have a very strong presence. Uh, so not only at the hackathons, but also at what they call is Pragma, uh, which is kind of like a conference. Uh, so there'll be many coming up. There's uh, some of them are uh, in person. So for example, we actually attended the first Pragma in Denver and then the Pragma and the Hackathon in London, uh, where you must have seen the updates coming in from Sammy and me. And uh, I was also judging at the Hackathon. The, the next Hackathon actually kicked off, I believe, 27 minutes ago. I'm not able to look at that stream because there's too many <laughs> things open on my computer right now, but I'm hoping it's uh, done. So that's where, if you're wondering why Anamit is not on the call, so he's just making sure uh, because we are doing a pretty big um, push towards that Hackathon. Uh, this is a virtual hackathon. Uh, I believe the registrations might be closed, so it might be a bit late <laughs> uh, for us to get new people in. Uh, but please do check it out. Uh, and our, a lot of our bounties are up. We are giving about $5,000 in bounties. This is like our first big one for this year. Um, and then um, we, we expect a lot of really cool things built on top of Farloom. I think that's like our main goal. Uh, it's one of the first few virtual hackathons. So virtual hackathons, anyone can participate around the world. You don't need to be in person. And it's a little longer. So it's about three weeks. So three weeks, um, at least I personally expect you can build a lot of cool things in three weeks um, versus, let's say, two days. Um, and uh, yeah, super excited for it um also of course i uh, we might do another community call uh before that but the one after this in is in sydney uh so we haven't announced it formally but uh, you should see our logos already there uh so yeah thanks to the entire team for like the last couple of days uh, just making sure everything is ready uh i think we're just like i'm seeing messages on the side uh so things are just like going live on our documentation so this is like really new things as well like those who have asked for it for the longest time where is a DevNet? How do I participate in it? All of that has been live now and formally, especially for this hackathon. So feel free to hack if you're already part of the hackathon. If, even if you're not, please do hack and let us know if you build something cool. We would love to incentivize you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Sarup. Uh, and so yeah, if you're in the hackathon, let us know. And if you're not, also let us know because we want to see what you built with uh, with us. And we're happy to support anyone that is interested to learn more about us. And that kind of like enters into a little hint that I'm going to do around our community initiatives. Um, I'm not going to just disclose it completely, but I want to let you all know that we're prepping up a really cool program to get more people into our inner circle, into our community, and to um, push our community around the world online, IRL, uh, via content, uh, via socials, via forecast or via lens. We're going to work on all of that together with you. Um, just going to say, if you're interested in becoming a connector with us, uh, let us know. Uh, next week, we're going to see those applications uh, roll out. And uh, it's something very dear to me. I'm really looking forward to see who wants to collaborate with us in our community with us and build with us uh, because we're really here into um, a long run and would love to build together with you. So if you're interested, let us know. You can hit, uh, send me a DM or just contact me. Uh, we're all there on our Discord or just wait for next week's announcement where we're going to launch this amazing program. So just wanted to let that into the table. Those of you who are here, you're the first ones to know and would love to see all of you there. Um, if anyone wants to add any comment before we jump into the Q and A's, this is your moment. Meanwhile, yeah, I, think I thought I'll just... give some product <laughs> updates. Sorry, because Anamit <laughs> isn't there, so he needed to give mostly the engineering side. Uh, I think eventually, Kanika, uh, you can handle this part uh, from the next call. Um, so I know the snapshotters have been struggling with uh, connecting to a new chain. So first I'll sort of talk about what was the big move. So we had been using a completely different stack uh, ever since we started uh, the, the testnet. And when we moved uh, to this new chain, because this was mostly out of feedback, a lot of people, we used to constantly have issues with the chain. So we moved to a completely new stack. We're about to announce why it's there's some special connection to base as well there. And um, so it's something we've been testing internally for a couple of weeks. Uh, when we went live with it, um, there's been a little bit of a challenge in the last probably 
of probably a week now where people are unable to connect because of IP blocks. Uh, and this is mostly due to Google uh, Cloud. Actually, we now found out yesterday that it's not even uh, the provider conduit which is actually running this chain for us. Uh, they're not the ones blocking these certain IPs. And it's actually on the GCP side because of, uh, unfortunately, when you use VPS providers, they tend to have, uh, it's not like your fault, but it's because what they do is they have a lot of shared IPs. And the way this works is imagine if you have a IP address of a computer and that's been abused by somebody else in the same building, then you're also at fault, right? So that's kind of what ends up happening. And then they recycle this a lot. And which is what, so unfortunately, when you get assigned that, there's no other option but to sort of reset. And I think that was the solution for some of uh, the folks. So like Avans, our moderator, gave that as a solution. But we realized that's not enough. Uh, so I believe last night, my time, or I, I believe it was like um, morning for most folks, uh, for our audience, uh, we were able to ship a new version, which is basically just going through Powerloom's servers now. Uh, and that is, I believe, is working for everyone. So that's awesome to hear. So your reward should now start to show up in the next 24 hours. So if they don't show up in after 24 hours, please give us a feedback. Uh, please be mindful. It is like the weekend. Uh, the core team does need to take some bit of break. It's been nonstop work getting this in action, but we will sort of monitor the Discord and see if uh, we can sort of resolve these issues. And hopefully we will have actual daily rewards working on the new chain. Um, you'll also be able to see it on chain very soon. We're going to uh, launch an explorer. Uh, so that's pretty cool. We've been working on that as well. So uh, super cool stuff happening there. And I believe uh, this should take care of majority of the issues. And for those who wonder why do we have node updates constantly, you have to understand the whole point of the test net is to one is to actually break things. We haven't even tried breaking it yet. Um, uh, our goal has been like, how do we keep improving it so that when we are confident enough, we reach mainnet. This was the very first call. If you remember when Sammy asked me when mainnet, uh, my answer to that was the day that I believe for a week or two, everything is running smoothly, no issues. Everyone's getting their rewards as long as their nodes are online. That means we are ready for mainnet, right? So we haven't quite hit that. We still have some time to go and that's the goal. And that's why getting feedback from the community, it's super important. If you're not running the latest version of the nodes, you will not get rewards. It's as simple as that. We do have data when we know, like the front end might show you those daily rewards. That's why it says tentative. So this is why it's important that please bring it, at least bring it online, right? So even if it wasn't online for the last week, if you bring it online right now, you'll get your reward. But if you don't bring it online and you're sitting on an older version, which by the way has some of, I, I believe there's about 20, 30% who unfortunately are on a really old version of the chain, which has been inactive for like a month now, and you will not be getting any rewards. And it doesn't help the network, right? Because you, there's, it's nothing happens because that chain has been uh, switched off for a while. So so is the previous one. So make sure it's uh, it says pros one edge uh, or conduit on your uh, RPC URLs. All of that information is on our Discord. Please check out, uh, subscribe, uh, Turn on notifications for just that one channel. If you're a snapshotter, there's a snapshotter announcements channel. You can turn on just notifications for that. We do tag people there. Uh, we tag your role. So if your role is not working because of the Collabland bot, you can still turn on notifications for all messages from that channel. So it doesn't matter if you have a role or not. So I just wanted to sort of give that feedback. I think most people sort of miss out through that. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's mostly about it. And hopefully, uh, this version we believe will be a lot more stable and we can actually start to now introduce new data markets that we've been working on as well, especially on base. Yeah, so exciting. Thank you so much, Sarup, uh, for that. And uh, we can enter the Q&A session. I know there's just a couple questions that we'll address. Uh, one of them being, um, I was wondering if the 10% discount from BNS can be stacked with the Polygon discount. No. Discount <laughs> over discount. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, if you try that, you will notice that it does, it gives you the the Polygon discount. So whatever is the higher discount, it does that. So we have a Farcaster frame, like Pratik mentioned, that gives you, I believe, 5%. Uh, the, the dot base discount that BNS is giving out, or rather we are giving out for BNS holders uh, with the BNS code, that gives about that gives 10% and then polygon holders, you need to have, ex 
have been an existing Polygon holder. So, you know, you know the wallet addresses are same on base and uh, Polygon, just to be clear. I think some people had some questions around that too. Uh, you don't need to create a new wallet address. Your existing wallet address works on base. You do need ETH because uh, that is kind of where uh, I was, I, let me sort of explain that later. But yeah, from a discount perspective, it's exactly um, based on whichever is a higher discount will get automatically applied. Of course, if you're getting the Polygon discount and you insist that you don't want the 20% and you want 10%, sure, you can apply the, uh, the BRS code and that'll reduce your discount. That is up to you. Uh, but yes, it doesn't get stacked. It just gets chosen. And the highest discount is uh, 20 right now. But there's a lot of people minting, I can see, without any discounts. That's super awesome. So they're just new people who have found out about us, and they're minting on um, uh, through it. Uh, but we also don't have existing codes yet in case some of the other, I know some of our specific partners and existing folks who have sort of come in. Now, if you're an existing holder, of course, you don't have to worry about codes, right? That's how we designed this. So we haven't added all that because we are sort of doing the base marketing in a slightly different way, as you can see, and we'll be announcing more of these, uh, but we will eventually add uh, some of our older partners back probably next week. So we haven't informed them yet. So in case, I think some question came up in Discord as well about that, the older codes. Thank you, Sarup. And the other question is also around discounts. <laughs> uh, are they available for more than one purchase? Uh, which is which as a minting, not a purchase. More than one purchase, uh, more than one mint. I don't use terms like purchase and sale, mm -hmm. as you can tell. Uh, yes, if it's uh, it's based off wallet. So if you qualify for right now, I believe there are four codes. They are on chain. You can see them, and they are all special mint codes. Maybe except uh, one of them, which anyone can use. Um, but uh, all of these will apply to your address, so you can mint one. You can mint up to 100. As a matter of fact, we are allowing 100 more notes uh, to be minted. Um, so if you had 100 notes at Polygon, I think very few people had, they can mint 100 again, which is the advantage we have given because we wanted the base community to have that same advantage. Um, but you, you can take advantage both ways. So yeah, so if you mint one, let's say with Polygon today, uh, the code, you get 20%, and tomorrow you're like, oh, I want to mint more, you'll get it again. It'll automatically apply. At least these codes are automatically applied but not on different addresses. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for clarifying, Sarup. Uh, let me check if we have any other questions. I see another one uh, around... We uh, Yes, I see one about the 5,000... I see a shot. fun one. I want to address that. Somebody asked, why are Kanika and uh, Pratik so serious? <laughs> it sounded like a, um, the Dark Knight movie. Why so serious? Why so serious? I was like going through questions and I was like losing. <laughs> I think they were probably not looking at the camera. So that's probably what happens, guys. So um, the issue yeah, is when you're not in the spot. scaling event so. is going on, right? Scaling things. And so. Yeah. So, yeah. and there's there's a little that bit of. Product, yeah. <laughs> so the trick is I usually. Thank you. Um, Thank you for addressing all... that question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to address every question I... that's up. Um, uh, there was uh, a was question that mention, you asked, uh, which yeah, is the yeah. one you... I was going to mention this question around the leak on the 5,000 snapshot on Twitter, but I feel like you already addressed that, uh, that you, so we've extended the snapshot a little bit. So right now, the first perk we are giving, I'm just going to repeat it one more time. Maybe they just joined the stream. I do see some people who just joined the stream. Uh, so feel free to replay it. This is the cool thing about YouTube uh, streams that we are doing now. It's replayable uh, and you can actually also watch it later as well. But while live as well, you can like speed up and catch up pretty quickly. I, I watch most YouTube videos at 1.5x. So it kind of works really well with live streams. <laughs> I sometimes catch up pretty quickly. Uh, but yeah, we've essentially the first perk is we're giving a, a discount on base. So you're getting 20% and you're also getting retroactive rewards. If you were already running notes, you get bonus rewards for new mints without uh, getting that delay of uh, about 40 days. So that's the first perk. There'll be more, uh, not yet revealed, but this is the big perk, yes. Thank you. So I can also address uh, the question before uh, that. Uh, there's yeah, a question about do. after this test rate, are you planning to do ICO before the TG and main it? I haven't seen that term in since 2017. ICOs. 2017 Sam days, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> 
Okay, I'll, I'll sort of address it in a different way. So yes, our goal right now is making sure the testnet is uh, successful, node operators are online. Like right now, we've had obviously these challenges in the middle, so we want to address those. Um, because, you know, initially we actually had like most of the people online with our initial version. So as we sort of tested more, we realized uh, the chain has to hold up. As Mikala mentioned, the amount of snapshots that are being generated every day, every month, it's just like, it's a lot of things. And it's not, it's not so simple. Like it's actually most chains are unable to keep up with that. And so we are also working on some, uh, our own engineering improvements. So I'll save that for another call, uh, probably uh, either a technical call or whenever we are ready to announce that. And those of you who follow our GitHub already can see because most of the code is open source. Uh, that's the good part. Um, and yeah, so I think, uh, I don't know about if you meant by ICO as a community sale, um, uh, we, there's nothing confirmed yet, so I can't speak to anything that is not confirmed yet. Uh, but if, if something of that matter happens, we will definitely let you know because you guys are our community. So you'll be the first to know. Um, but at the moment, there's nothing set. Our goal is to sort of make sure we get that we head to mainnet. And um, uh, we have sort of planned uh, TG uh, by at least end of Q2. So that's still our goal. We haven't changed that date yet. Uh, obviously, with the markets, things change a lot. Like, honestly, even when we started to how it is now, um, like when I look at markets, so it does make some external changes. Um, not us, to be honest, like we don't have control over some other things because there is definitely more projects that are trying to do. So we have to sort of find the right uh, timing as well to do that. But at the same time, uh, we will continue to ship um, uh, as as we can. And then as we are closer to any announcement, we'll uh, make sure the it's announced on all our socials and Discord and also email. Thank you, Sorub, and thank you everyone who's been here and who's contributed by asking questions, by commenting, and by just making. This is like rare. Nine forty-four, unbelievable. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for Got letting it, us be in time as well. We're mm -hmm. on it, and uh, we just want to appreciate everyone for being here. Everyone who will watch this afterwards. Um, because we are really excited about everything we're building and also about how we're growing our community. Uh, if you wanna be a part of it, you can. So be uh, stay on the look uh, for next week's announcements and for all that is coming uh, for us, it's gonna be a lot and we're excited about that. So please, please, please stay, um, updated with everything we're cooking and remember that we're always hanging out on our discord so if you want to comment anything give us some feedback we're super open for that and we'd love to hear from you because we're building this for everyone so please remember that we are uh, looking out for all your comments and feedback and uh, to stay on time i'll let all of you go thank you for being here Pratik, kanika sami alex Sarup. thank you Thank you for actually for being here. Thank you, Mokund, for being here as well. He wasn't on stage, but I know you're here as well. And thank you for everyone on our team that are doing the Scaling Ethereum Hackathon as well. And to all of you, our community, we appreciate you so much. Thank you. Uh, we'll see you very, very soon. And uh, have a great day. Bye, everyone. Take care. Bye. Bye, everyone.